What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple released iOS 11.1 Beta 3 and I do have it installed here on my iPhone 6S. In this video I want to run through the new features, performance, bug fixes, speed, and everything you need to know about the new beta of iOS 11.1. So let's jump right into the review. So as usual guys, let's jump into the download itself. As you guys can see here on the iPhone 6S, the developer beta 3 for iOS 11.1 comes in at 136 megabytes. So it's not too big of a download at all and it took me about 15 minutes to install, which is a little longer than the previous betas, but it does have a number of features to go through. Also, before we get to the features, I'm gonna jump into the storage here. You guys can see that before I actually installed this, I had 57.33 gigabytes available. Now after installation, I have 57.28. So I actually did lose a little bit of storage, but it's not really too much it's actually not going to be too noticeable on your device now Apple didn't actually provide a change log for us in this beta but they do have a number of changes and I'm super excited about a lot of them so let's jump into it first off is a fix that I've waited for for quite some time now you guys know how long I've been waiting for this and the 3d touch lag has actually been fixed throughout iOS 11.1 beta 3 you guys didn't know what that was when you actually 3d touched on an application or anywhere in the operating system there was about a half a second lag I don't know why it was super annoying and they actually have fix that. So as you guys can see now, it is super, super fluid everywhere in the operating system. Works great. And I'm very, very happy to see that they have this fix. This is something I've been waiting for forever. It works even a little bit more smoothly in the app switcher as well. It just works great everywhere. So they have fixed that in beta three. Now beta three also includes a huge bug fix guys that I've been waiting for since we started to see iOS 11.1 in beta form. And that is the home button lag issue. So now when you actually go to click the home button, it doesn't actually wait a full second. It seems like it's almost cut in half. So when I click the home button here, it's not too big of a delay and you can also close it about halfway through opening it as you guys can see there. So they have actually mostly fixed the home button lag issue. I would like to see this even further improved in future betas, but I'm very, very happy to see that they have included these fixes for beta three. Another fix included with beta three comes at the home screen in the passcode lock entry screen. Previously, when you actually went to press the wrong password in, it wouldn't give you haptic feedback. That is now back on beta three. Always nice to have the haptic feedback anywhere in the operating system. Now this one I have not actually experienced because I don't have an iPad Pro, but there was audio distortion on previous betas when using the iPad Pro for 11.1. They have fixed those in the latest beta three. Now another fix actually deals with the WPA2 protocol for security for Wi-Fi on iOS and all iDevices. Now this has actually been in the news. I can show you guys here the article here from Time. There have been methods leaked on the internet that people can actually hack your Wi-Fi using the WPA2 protocol for security. Now Apple's actually patched these ways that people can hack your device so you won't have problems with Wi-Fi getting hacked through the Wi-Fi chip in the device so they have patched it in iOS 11.1 beta 3 I don't think it's been patched in the previous versions so definitely when this is released it will be good you won't have to worry about that going forward so those are the main fixes guys there are a few items missing the iMessages in iCloud is not present so unfortunately we won't have that for a couple more betas until the final release and also Apple Pay is not actually allowed within iMessage just yet they are testing it internally at Apple so I expect to see that when the final release is available with the iPhone 10. So this brings me to the performance. So I'm going to jump into a Geekbench test here and I'm going to show you guys just the two tests I ran. As you guys can see here the CPU test before I installed beta 3 I had a 1455 single core score and a 2498 multi core score. After installing this I had a 1471 single core score and a 2513 multi core score. So as you can see there the two differences it actually went up a little bit for both so definitely a performance performance update there, definitely a good thing. And I do have to say guys, along with the 3D touch in general, this feels a lot more snappy, a lot closer to the final release. And I definitely, definitely think the performance has improved and the stability is also great. It feels very, very close to final release, which we will be getting in a few weeks. Now in terms of battery life, I have read that this has actually greatly improved the battery life for those using it. I actually haven't used it for long enough. I'm sure the battery life for me will be okay. I never have had a problem with the battery since I've been using the beta, but for those of you who are a little bit concerned. I have read a lot of Reddit posts out there that say the battery is so much better on this beta. So that's always good news to read. And I'll let you guys know if I have a different opinion, but as of right now, I've read that the battery is great on this beta. So overall guys, that is everything you need to know about iOS 11.1 beta three. It's features, performance, bug fixes, and speed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this on my channel here and drop a like if you did enjoy this video. I'll also put my Twitter, Facebook,
Facebook, Google Plus website page, and Instagram page, along with my Patreon down in the description. So be sure to follow those guys. Greatly helps me out. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.